done on my phone, so uh, if you hear the wind outside, I'm sorry, but this is about the best I can do it because I really don't have a whole lot of time. Uh, first thing I'm going to cover is the first five sparring techniques. I'm going to explain incorporating the shuffle step in with it. So uh, here it is. You take the sparring stance. The first um, sparring technique is a jab. When you jab, you step forward. When you cock the punch, you take that half a step forward. When you deliver, that's when you push with the back. Okay. It, gives, it, it gives more of a push into the punch. And it feels really comfortable to me. Uh, the second one is the jab and roll. Alright? Hang on a second. Let's get out there. Okay. The jab cross. When you jab, you take your first step forward. When you cross, that's when you push. And you give that push from the pelvis. Because when you're in the sparring stance, I focus on the relaxation of the pelvis, okay? When that pelvis is tucked in and relaxed, it allows your claw, the center pelvic region here, to stay open. And the deliverance of the energy from your root to the strikes is a lot easier to uh, achieve because there's no tension in the pelvis region. So when you jab, you take your half a step forward and you grip the ground with your toes. There's your jab. The cross is the push up. Okay. The third one is the jab, cross, hook. Okay, it's a three hit combo. You only have two parts to the shuffle step, so you have to break it down. Okay, so here you got the jab, but you don't step. This is where bridging comes in because you use the jab and the bridge. And all a bridge is is a connection or contact between one object to another, okay? Same thing as a bridge. It connects one place to the other. So it's real simple. Okay, so when you jab, you don't step. The cross is the first step, and the hook is the push and the turn. Because you're already close to your opponent, so you don't have but a few inches to deliver that blow. So it all comes from your foot. Okay, so jab, cross, hook. Right? Number four is just a downward, you could call it a slap. You can put a bird beak in it if you want to get technical with it, but I just, it's just a downward motion with the wrist. You leave with the wrist, you block, okay? And it's a downward movement and a back fist, okay? So when you block, there's your step forward and you back fist up. But when you back fist, you don't want to focus so much on the contact. You want to focus on the pullback because when you step forward and block, you're already inside the area of your opponent trying to take over his center. So he can grab you, and if you leave that arm extended for too long, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. So the recoil, when you get back out, okay? And with the shuffle step, step in half a step to the block, step up, back, fist, pull back. All right? Number five, it's a blade kick, all right? Front kick, step forward, jab. Alright, the shuffle step comes in at the end, okay, of course, because you're not going to be stepping while you're kicking, alright, so when you kick with the blade of your foot, front kick, as you step down with your heel, once you hit that hook stance, that's when you start to deliver the jab, and at the point of impact on that jab, you should be pushing with your back foot to execute the attack, so here it is here, okay, blade, front kick, jab, right? I'm going to go through them all again. Number one, jab. Number two, jab cross. Number three, jab cross hook. Number four, block back fist. Number five, blade front kick, jab. There's the sparring techniques. 